Hello, welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo monthly money and career reading for June 2022. Virgo, June 2022, money and career. What is coming in? What are you deciding? What are you pushing forward? What are you letting go? I cannot believe it's the month of June. Anyway, welcome, welcome. If you have just stumbled upon this channel and never watched it before, I hope you connect in some way, shape, or form with this reading. And if you do, let me know. Comment down below. And if you've already watched this channel, welcome back, Virgo, or whoever is watching. And... Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I'm concentrating at the same time. There you go, Virgo. Here you are, right there. I'm concentrating at the same time with the card. So, finding your path, still searching. You're still searching. I mean, I think with all the the weekly readings, Virgo, um, I feel like you you know what your path is, but it's you're not there yet and yes look at that so exactly this you're you're searching you're still on your you're still building you're still organizing you're still planning because i feel like you know where you're going you know what you're doing let's say you want to open up a shop or you want to open up a place or you want to start a youtube channel or start your own business or develop something, develop a product. You have a project. You know exactly what it is. You're very clear on what it is. And you're very clear on what it takes to make it happen. And it might be something ambitious. And so you've been preparing, analyzing, uh, networking, researching to make sure you have everything ready to make it happen. Is it right now today? Maybe, probably not. You're still on that path to build, right? Step by step. You know what it is, Virgo. Comment down below. I don't know what your project is, but this is something that has been recurrent on the weekly readings. The Hermit. And it's giving you anxiety, but it's giving you anxiety, Virgo, in a, in a good way. I don't like to say anxiety in a good way, but it is normal that if you want to build something, if you want to start your own business, if you want to launch your own product, if you want to open up your own shop, open up your own restaurant, open up, you know, this is big. This is something you've been planning for a while, researching for a while. You probably have to get finances. You probably have to get a location. You probably have to network with people, make sure you have everything, you know, uh, and so it takes time, but you are creative. And you are so motivated, mastering every step of the way to implement, to organize, to find the right people, to find the right products, to find the right place, to find the finance. Really beautiful king of wands, builder, builder, motivator, in control, but dynamic in creativity. And there we have the sun. So this is a project, a job. Now, it doesn't have to be you wanting to, you know, open up a shop or start a business. It might be that job you really want or that sector you really want or, you know, going back to school and making it all happen and changing careers. Whatever it is, it is your path, your energy, your changes. And you have been on this search and this development on this new path for a while. But it's something that you really connect with that makes you excited, that makes you happy. It makes you connect with other people. You are just all around um, very positive and very optimistic with this this project because it makes you happy so when you talk about it when you organize things or when you are working on it or you know in your mind it just 
reveals the beauty and the love you're projecting in this project and who you are as a beautiful person to connect with this project and develop it and make it happen. And I, if you want to check out the weeklies, you can. Yes, here we are. Seven of Pentacles, working hard, putting time and money in this project to build it. And meantime, maybe you are doing other jobs. Maybe you are doing other things to pay the bills, right? But for, for now, you are, um, you're focused on that and maybe, you know, a few side jobs to, you know, make sure you can pay the rent. Uh, it, but it's something that is going to be successful. And I've said it for, I've said it quite a few times already. If you want to check out those weeklies, because the progress of this um, path of this thing that you're developing is, is really step by step, so thorough, so thoughtful, so um, it, it, you are manifesting your own business, your own opportunity, your own, you know, whatever it is, your own project, and you have become your project. You are that project. Your energy is that project. And it's a complete change. You're starting from scratch. Sorry, just want to make sure that's up. Yeah, death card. It, it and it's it's something that is completely it doesn't have to be different than your career, right? Doesn't mean you have to change careers, but it's something that you're building from scratch. And that takes time. Page of Pentacles, that enthusiasm, but it feels like the Page of Pentacles is also an offer. This can be a financial offer. Uh, the opportunity, an opportunity to work with someone, an opportunity to a financial opportunity on a new project, a new proposition, a new offer, whatever it is. It feels like you have a new offer here in the in the month of June. With the Queen of Pentacles. Well, you're making things happen. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is someone very energetic, right? But very trustworthy, someone that will accomplish its duties, that will make, will find solutions, but also nurturing, kind, a beautiful friend to have along the way that can accompany you and help you, help you make things happen. Um, so Virgo, I think this is you. You're going from the page to the queen, but it can also be someone surrounding you with love and affection and helping you along the way. In this new, it's all about new and you have pentacles. I mean, it is, uh, for me, it's really, the sun almost comes out every time for you, Virgo, if I remember correctly in the past readings. And here we have the nine of pentacles. The serenity in your choices, the serenity in your in your path, knowing that you're making the right decisions, knowing that you're on the right path, you're very comfortable with your choices, and it's also bringing abundance. It's it's something that you have in your blood. It's something that you know you're developing. Look at this. You go from the nine to the ten. Look at all these pentacles. 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 It's successful and it's going to bring you balance. It's going to bring you balance. Now, until then, you have to work things out. You have to work the kinks out. It's, it's you know, you might probably have to find money. You probably have to find a space. You probably have to, you know, make things happen. But it is so successful. It is your world. It is your world that you're developing and it's your world that you're putting out there. It is bringing you anxiety. <laughs> Oh my, Virgo. No, 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 no. Now, I, you know, here we are in the beautiful perspective of uh, an energy, a project that you're building. You've been building for weeks, even months, and you're not quite there yet, but you're building from scratch. It is completely new. And we do have, and often we do have nine of swords, 10 of swords, eight of swords, feeling stuck feeling stuck in that, in your head with, um, you know, uh, emotional situations. It can be anxiety driven to, you know, to, like I said, to start a business, to develop a business, to find solutions, to jump those obstacles along the way. Right. It's in, but in your mind, there is a crossroads 
Ah, uh, and I do have the Three of Swords. So, I don't often do this, uh, Virgo, but this can be a romantic. I usually don't associate with romantic or love readings. Once in a while, once in a blue moon, it's sort of, you know, I feel that energy and I feel that I have to link the uh, Three of Swords to a romantic situation. So if it's not that, it's not that. But for whoever, whoever I'm connecting with, whoever this might concern, you know, it might be for you. If not, this might be the end of a job or just the difficulty in a job, in a day routine job where you're, you're sort of done and you're going to move on to something else, choose something else move on to a different path. I don't think you're yet at that destination of that big project. I think this might be a job along the way where you just, you know, you're done, you're done, you're moving on. Um, and you didn't like the connections, you didn't like the people you were working with, that was not your thing, or you just felt stuck. You felt you couldn't maneuver or be yourself or make decisions, or you didn't have the right to make decisions or, you know, you didn't have much say in the matter and, you know, you're moving on. But if it's not that, you you are involved with someone or were involved with someone that is sort of broke your heart or you broke up with someone and that is sort of still in your mind, still brewing in there and it's difficulty and you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision, open up, choose yes or no. Do I go back with that person? Let's pull, let's pull more cards. I usually don't do this, but let's see. Let's pull more cards uh, to see if it's actually that. But it, it can be that. It doesn't have to be that. But, you know, maybe, maybe your professional situation is linked to a romantic situation, a partner or someone, you know, that you were partnered with or, you know, someone where it's going a little, you know, um, where the boat is rocking a little bit and you're, you, you are, you know, trying to figure things out, Virgo, in that situation. Let's see. Why is the three of swords here? If not, that is a job you're letting go or they are letting you go. Yes. Well, there we go. Double, <laughs> double death. All right, and leaving. Yeah, so I feel like this is either a job you're completely leaving or a relationship you're completely leaving that is sort of mentally blocking you. It's just you're in your head about it. It's difficult, and that is not helping you move forward on other things, right? It's just, you know, moving on to calmer waters. You know it's done, but sometimes when we're done with a relationship, you know, it lingers and it, and, it, and it takes time to process and it takes time to move on. So you're, but you're, you're moving on to calmer waters. All right, let's move on to something else. So you have, maybe this uh, death card is because of that. It might be. And if not, you are definitely leaving a job or a project that didn't correspond to you and, uh, and you're moving on to something else. All right, let's see. Yes, making choices, taking your time, making decisions, long-term decisions, but you're in control. You're in control of what you need. You're in control of what you want, what you're accomplishing, what your goals are and what it takes to get there. Yes, step by step. Two I, often, these, these two are coming out very often together. Taking the time, balancing emotions, mastering emotions, calming down if we have to, step by step, taking a step back, taking a perspective of what is going on, letting the energies flow. Things, you know, things don't go fast. And, you know, where I live, nothing goes fast. So I don't know if it goes fast where you live, but everything's an effort. Everything is different post world situation and we're not post we're still in right and everything is difficult so especially if you're starting or trying to put together a project or put together a business or an idea or anything it takes strength it takes stamina and it takes 
um, emotional balance, but it takes also a lot of patience. And the hangman is just there to say, do not push, do not force, right? Surrender to the opportunity to just pause and view it as it is and reassess if you have to. And, you know, reevaluate where, where you feel you have to. And, and because it's coming, it's it, new is coming in, new is emerging. Now, you can have a new job as well, since there's one that you're not connecting with anymore, if this is it or this is that separate romantic situation, right? But whatever it is, surrender, surrender to the situation, even if it feels different, even if it's a little sticky and you're not comfortable, right? Just, just... Or, or it's not something, it wasn't something you expected. Maybe it wasn't something you expected to just, you know, not connect with something, right? Or not connect with the people or the project. Because I feel like you are on several different jobs. And, you know, you're, you're connecting in a new way. You know, just just take your time. Take your time away from, from your routine to connect with, you know, that new way of thinking that, that with that project. And, you know, don't resist. Don't resist. The lovers. I mean, I'm stopping one second because... This is you, I mean, yes, the, the, the hermit is you. But for me, the lovers is really, it is so clear on your choices. You're so clear on what you're manifesting and what you believe in and what you stand for. You're so in touch with your integrity and your energies that, you know, it's you're totally in harmony with what you stand for and what you are building. I'm not talking about yourself as a person. I'm talking about your project, whatever it is you're pushing for, whatever it is you're building. You are there. It's like you are that project. And you know that, you know, what you see is what you get. And you're so ethical and you have so, you're, you're a bit of a perfectionist, uh, Virgo. You try, you know, sometimes you do. Um, live your life from that core belief and your values and your principles. And if it's not that way, you know, you, you are beautiful, beautiful, there for others, helping others, caring. You are a fixer, but you also have your way and your perspective that sometimes gets a little stuck, right? What you stand for, what your philosophy is, but you are so ready to put yourself out there, whatever this is, business, project, you know, take it as it resonates. You are so ready to make it happen. And, and it's also that you're very strict with yourself, right? Ready to establish what is essential for you. Go out, Virgo, go out in the world, show the world who you are. Let's, oh, there's one more cards that want to come out. Okay. Let's see if there are more cards that want to come out. And Major Arcana Galore. All right. And an Ace. Here we go. There we are. Building, building, building. New. That's for sure. New. And two times the Page of Pentacles. So you definitely have offers, financial offers coming in or financial help coming in. If you're waiting for answers on, on finances to start this business or to start this project, there's definitely offers coming in or messages coming in or connections coming in uh, for this new project opportunity. And if it's not that, you get another job offer, right? Within the other job offers. I feel like you come and go in the jobs because this whole, this big project it monopolizes your most of your time but you still have to pay the bills so you sort of go from one one thing to the other interesting all right more cards okay these that's a lot of cards okay wow wow okay <laughs> virgo so i'm just gonna do this right off the bat <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, here we go. Ace of, you had Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, 
ace, <laughs> ace of pentacles. Does not get better than that. Four aces, Virgo. Whatever you're working on is going to be fantastic. When I say fantastic, people are waiting for you, waiting for your talent out there. So if it's tricky along the way and you're trying to figure out, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You you are in such a growth period because you also have the star. Um, but look at these. I don't even want to put this on the, on the four four aces and this these cards kept wanting to come out so there is there you go four aces fulfilling new idea money and building success 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 virgo i can't say it any other way you are on the right path this is happening it's happening in a glorious way and in a beautiful way because it's so fulfilling for you it's something important for you and something that really resembles you it's your project your baby you're putting it out there and it's wonderful and is it easy along the way no probably not you're probably waiting for answers right but look at that so i don't even want to there so you have the start believe in yourself when things you know, stop and go, stop and go, or you're not getting the answers, or you're not quite sure, you're in a growth period, right? You're in a growth period, you are moving forward, 10 of pentacles, money coming in, you're going to get financial stability with this thing, and where am I putting her up here, and emotional stability, and there are people around you. I feel, I feel like there are people around you, Virgo, on this thing, helping you out, helping you emotionally, helping you, um, yeah, guiding you, guiding you along the way when you have your doubts and you, you know, you're, you're sort of not sure or you're not getting the answers fast enough or you don't have a clear vision of that next step, right? You get a little frustrated and irritated and you're sort of mental block, right? because you're such a perfectionist just know that it's just going to get better and better and better and you're building something absolutely beautiful virgo wow wow what an amazing reading i am floored really <laughs> four aces no wonder i had to keep on you know shuffling the cards no wonder they wanted to come out four aces and the sun. I'm not even counting all the other major arcana, but four aces on this situation, on this project that you're developing. Comment down below what you're developing, what it's all about, what what this journey is all about. Because you have been on this journey for a while, these um, energies have been uh, pushing you forward for a while. If you want to, if it's the first time you're watching and you're interested and you enjoy this reading, you might want to check out the weekly readings there. The Virgo reading is up for this week. If you want to pop over there, get a little more clarity. And eight of swords. <laughs> it's just funny because you, Virgo, you always go from that powerful, empathic, beautiful, loving energy to being stuck mentally, right? Pow! back in pow back in right because you're you're anxiety driven and you know and everybody is you know everybody is especially right now so it's not more you virgo than anyone else but you're the readings i do for you are often very loving very powerful very perfectionist in building your goals right and and a lot of anxiety driven I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did, Virgo. This was an absolutely beautiful reading. Comment down below. Let me know what your journey is all about. Let me know what you're up to. Please subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet. And for everybody that has already, thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you to push my little channel forward and help me push my energies forward to do these readings. So thank you so much for watching. Virgo, take care. Bye-bye.